Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on the video. My name is Ramon, and in this video, I'm going to be going over my favorite products from iCast 2021. iCast 2021 just wrapped up uh, this past week, and there were a ton of new products, ton of new lures, rods, reels, um, tackle systems, all that stuff uh, released, awards were given, and uh, I wasn't there personally, but I definitely followed along online, and there's a ton of cool stuff. Um, so in this video, I'm going to go over my top 10 favorites, um, things that I'll be looking for this year as these products get released. So before we get into my top 10, I want to talk about some honorable mentions, things that got me excited, things I'll still be looking out for, but just didn't make the top 10 cut for me. Um, the first one is the Plano Edge V Jig Spy Box. It's in the 3700 series. I'm a huge fan of the Plano Edge tackle system already. I have a few of their boxes, uh, 3600 Flex, the 3600 Standard, their Terminal Tackle Box, um, the Jig Box, the Crankbait Box, all that. This box, um, I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for it, definitely going to check it out. Um, makes me excited because um, it looks like a good box for jerk baits. Now it's advertised as like a vertical jig box or a um, spy bait box but the grooves look thin enough where I could easily put my jerk baits in there. My next honorable mention product is uh, the Big Bite Baits Pendulate Head. The reason why this is cool, gets me excited, is um, it's, it's a ball jig head. It's got a really good realistic looking eye on it. It has a great bait keeper wire on it and a solid hook. The hooks are a gamagatsu hook. The thing that makes this ball jig head very special is that it has a built-in swivel. So you're gonna have less line twist as you're dragging it along the bottom or as you're jigging it, fighting a fish, what have you. The ball will move freely because it has a built-in swivel. So that's pretty exciting. It's gonna be great for all different kinds of baits. So I'll definitely be on the lookout for those when those come out. Next honorable mention is a topwater bait. It is the Lunker Hunt Skitter Lizard. Now Lunker Hunt is known for making all kinds of wild topwater baits. They have um, a spider bait. They have uh, tons of different little topwater feature baits. This one makes it really exciting because I personally already use lizards kind of like a topwater bait, like a jerk bait style. Um, bring them weightless and um, if you get them light enough they do float a little bit and you just kind of twitch it along the top. This floats in the tail of the lizard it has a um, wider hook in the tail which makes it you know hopefully if something does go for the tail instead of the full body of the lizard will help you hook up a lot more. Um, regardless the skitter lizard looks like an exciting like a really cool bait it's got really cool colors um, really good action so it's definitely something that I'll be on the lookout for and we'll hopefully give it a try as soon as it's released. Now the last one before we start getting into the top tens and this one barely got itched out of my my top tens um, is the Elastech Hercules. Um, it's a pre-rigged swim bait and it comes in a good number of different colors. My favorite colors are the Gold Rush color and the Shiner color. Just looking at this bait, it looks super realistic. It looks like if you swim it in the water, it's gonna get lots of attention. Just because of how realistic it looks, the, the colors look good, the eyes look great, and it's made out of that Elastec material, so you know you're gonna get some durability out of it. Before we get into the top 10, do me a favor, hit that like button. Helps grow the channel really quick. I would really appreciate it. With number 10, I kind of cheated a little bit. It's technically two lures, but I batched them together because they're both from Berkeley and they both are the same type of lure. So number 10 is the Berkeley Max Sen, Lil General and Lil Trooper. Now these are both Ned Rig style soft plastics. Um, the Lil General is obviously a shorter version, shorter cut down version of the General. Um, 
I'm huge into Ned Rigs. I love tossing out a Ned Rig and seeing what bites it. You can catch all kinds of fish besides just bass on a Ned Rig. So I love throwing them. With the Max scent, I think it's going to attract a lot of fish, especially, I think it's going to do really well, just dead sticking out there. Um, same with the Little Trooper. It's a cross style bait. It's got a good amount of appendages, the two big claws and then several little smaller appendages on it. And same deal. Looks like it's going to be a good bait that just sits on the bottom. Because of that max scent, um, scent on it, it's probably going to attract a lot of fish. And the color options that it comes in look super well done. Looks like they'll work in several different types of conditions. So I'm super excited about this bait. Number nine is the Nico Bates Winnow. 95 and this is a, a soft plastic swim bait kind of like a kitek or like a saucy swimmer and i'm excited about this bait for two reasons one um i've seen some stretch tests done at icast and they look super stretchy which means they're going to be durable um, and two it's supposed to be made out of food grade plastic meaning it's a lot better for the environment. They don't bloat, so it's if a fish does eat it, it's not supposed to cause the same kind of bloating issues that regular soft plastic does. They're durable, so they're gonna last you a lot longer, and they're non-toxic to the water. They're um, food grade safe plastics. So all that really draws me to them. You can rig these a ton of different ways. You can rig these uh, alone on a ball head jig. You can rig these with a swim bait hook. You can rig these as a trailer. So, tons of options there. Really excited for this one. Lots of great colors, which is great. Um, so I'll definitely be on the lookout for this and try to give me a hand on these Nico baits. Number eight is another Ned Rig plastic. It's the Strike King Ned Rig Crawl. Now, I love Strike King's Rage Crawls. I fish them regularly. Um, I love the coffee scent. It's great. It makes me feel like I attract more fish when I, when I toss this one out. Um, super exciting to see them come out with a net version and to see all the different colors. Um, the crawls look great. The profile looks amazing. It, it does look like a bigger style of net rig plastic, but I think it'll still be fine and should work well regardless. Well, this rage crawl, I'll most likely just use it as a net rig or I might also put it on the end of like a finesse style um, or a finesse jig and use it as a trailer that way. Number seven is the Berkeley Agent E. Um, and this is a swim bait style uh, pre-rigged bait and the reason I like this is because it looks super realistic it's got great colors different sizes which is always great so you got some different weight variations and you can finish fish it on different type of gear um, but it's also versatile so Berkeley worked with Edwin Evers on developing this bait and it's a goby imitator bait um, it's a small little bait fish that uh, most sport fish eat uh, it's got internal rattles built in like i said it's pre-rigged and it's got a lot of weight in the center uh, at the front center one of my favorite features about this is that it is weedless so edwin eber says it should be fished more like a jig and you could skip it under dock skip it under structure and uh, fish it back like you would a jig instead of like a standard swim bait. Um, so one of my favorite features about it is that it is weedless. It's got like a, um, a fluorocarbon or like a thin clear weed guard over the top that helps you cut through that structure, make sure you don't get hung up um, because the hook is exposed at the top. So I'm super excited for this bait. It looks great, it's got great colors, great uh, different variations of sizes. I'll definitely be trying to get my hands on this one too. Now number six might surprise some of you guys um, because it's not a lure and it's not a tackle box. It's actually a fishing line. Number six is the Seaguar Basics fluorocarbon line. Now the reason why this makes me super excited is because one of the things I like to focus on is quality and price. And when you can get something high quality for a low price, it's got my name written all over it. Seaguar, who's one of the more expensive line brands out there, um, has come out with a budget-friendly option. Now, I think it's still gonna be high quality because it has a Seaguar name on it. Um, I think they just may have found a better way to manufacture it that's more cost-effective. 
So these costs start at $10.99 per spool, which if you ask me is pretty affordable for fluorocarbon. Um, and I'm definitely excited to try it out. Uh, Seaguar's got a great name to it. It's got a good reputation of being a solid line brand. So I'll definitely be interested in getting a hand, my hands on this line and testing it out against other more budget friendly line manufacturers. So I'll definitely be on the lookout for this line when it comes out. Number five has me super excited. Um, as some of you know, I've been really into swim jig fishing lately, and Missile Baits worked with Mike Iconelli to create a mini swim jig. So it's the Missile Baits mini swim jig. Comes in at number five for me. The reason why this makes me so excited is because I've been throwing a lot of swim jigs lately, and have also been throwing some finesse jigs. This mini swim jig makes me excited because it's it, one, it's a swim jig, and two, it's smaller. So that means um, I can throw swim jigs in situations where I would stop throwing swim jigs when the swim jig bite might not happen, and I think I might need to downsize. This would be great for it. Missile Baits is already known for developing great jigs. They've been working with Mike Canelli for a long time now with the, their other missile jigs. So I'm super excited for this when it comes in great colors. Uh, looks like it's going to be a good quality jig and could probably pair it up with some of the other lures that I've already talked about, like the um, raid, the, the Rage Crawl or the Little General as a trailer, depending on how big that hook actually is. Might even slap a donkey tail from your fishing on the end of it and see how that does. But regardless, I'm super excited for these. Definitely gonna be going out and picking up a few and testing them out. Number four is a good one. It's another Z-Man plastic product. It's the Z-Man Turbo Fatty. Got an awesome profile. It's got a thick, uh, thick worm, but tapers down into a cut tail. Um, so you're gonna get a lot of action depending on how you fish it. You can Texas rig it, Carolina rig it. Um, my plan is almost likely wacky rig it or Nico rig it. I think that fat side would be great to put a nail weight into with that tail flapping and creating a bunch of disturbance and undulating down as it sinks. So that's probably how I'm going to fish it. It comes in great colors that Z-Man is known for and it is made out of the Elastec plastic. So this will definitely be something that I'm going to be going out and trying to get my hands on sooner rather than later. Number three makes me super excited, mainly because I've been looking for something like this, wishing this existed, and I haven't been able to find anything that necessarily fits this need. And it is the Plano Micro Magnetic Edge Box. And again, like I said at the beginning, I'm a huge fan of the Edge series. I love that it's got moisture wicking technology. I love that. The Edge Series has the restrictor built into it, it's got the one-handed latch open system, and this has all that in a compact form. Um, I've been looking for something like this because of all the, uh, the um, finesse jigs that I have now. When I say finesse jigs, I mean um, specifically all of the mule jigs that I have now. Um, right now I have them in a regular Plano plastic box, which is fine for organization. But when I'm out on the water, or like the last time I went out fishing, it was raining, I got a lot of water in it. And I don't want those things to rust over because one, <laughs> they're constantly sold out. Those things sell out like crazy. Um, so I wanna make sure I'm protecting the ones I do have so that they last me in case they sell out again and it's a while until I get another one. With this, I can put those chicks in there, organize them. It'll look great. It will last forever. When you look at the box, on one side it's got a spot for jigs, on the other side it's got more of a foam pad where you can put more jigs on the back or flies or things like that. And then when you lift that center part open, you have a plastic cover and you can put more lures, soft plastics down in there. Um, so I'm super excited. It's got a little carabiner clip that I'll probably use to either clip it on my waist. Something great potentially for like a fanny pack or you stick on your belt or keep in your pocket. So I'm super excited for that one. Number two is the only hard bait in my list, which is the Strike King Chick Magnet. So first off, it's got a great name, um, but second, it looks awesome. It's a flat-sided crankbait, so that means it's flat on both sides, and it's got a huge belly and a really tight wobble. It comes in a bunch of great colors, um, and the bill has that spoon-like 
scoop. It's, it's like a spoon like bill at the front, so it's thin towards the bait, and then it comes out huge like a big oval um, sticking out on the front of it. it. Looks great from what I've seen and the action in the water. It swims really well. I'm super excited for this uh, crankbait to come out. I'll probably be grabbing a few of them when they do. So the last bait, number one overall, probably comes as no surprise to anybody because it won ICAST Best of Show. It is the Power Bait Gilly. If you haven't seen this thing, go look it up right now. Pause the video, go look it up right now. It is an insane looking soft plastic swim bait. It's not pre-rigged so it doesn't come with any hooks, but man, I think that is a huge benefit because that makes it super versatile. It's got great action in the water. It looks super lifelike when you swim it, and it comes in a ton of good looking colors. Um, it's just that perfect size bluegill looking bait that I think will catch you a large fish. My favorite thing about it is how versatile it is. You can put it on a ball head jig, you can put it, you can use it as a trailer on a swim jig, you can use it as a drop shot lure, you can Carolina rig it, you can. Texas rig it. You can um, put some trebles in the dang thing and fish it like you would a, a, like a regular bait with trebles. The thing is ridiculously versatile and I think that's what is the biggest benefit of using this bait. Um, the way that I've seen it, the most interesting rig is a flat rig and essentially you rig it um, almost Texas rig style, but you turn the bait flat instead of vertical, and I think that makes it act like a topwater bait, you know, like a like a dying bait fish that's kind of floating to the top. So that bait is honestly my favorite thing out of iCast. I am going to run out and buy these as soon as they're available. Let me know what you think of the list. Let me know if I missed any of your favorites, which ones in this list that you like or are most excited for, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys on the next one.